Now we are going to learn about allotropes of phosphorus. Now let's see what is allotropy. The phenomenon of the existence of the element in more than one physical form is called allotropy. The different physical forms of the same element are called allotropes. Allotropes have different physical properties but similar chemical properties. Phosphorus exists in several allotropic forms. Of these, the main forms are white phosphorus, red phosphorus and black phosphorus. Now let's learn in detail about white phosphorus. It is a soft, waxy and translucent solid. It is insoluble in water but soluble in organic solvents like carbon tetrachloride or carbon disulfide. It dissolves in boiling caustic soda in an inert atmosphere to give phosphine and sodium hypophosphite. White phosphorus ignites spontaneously in air at about 35 degrees Celsius that is at a temperature slightly higher than room temperature to form phosphorus pentoxide. Hence it is stored in water. In contact with humid air, white phosphorus get oxidized. This reaction is associated with the emission of light. As a consequence, it glows in the dark. Hence we say white phosphorus exhibits chemiluminescence. Chemiluminescence is the production of light from a chemical reaction. Now let's look at the structure of white phosphorus. If you take white phosphorus, it is extremely reactive. This is because it exists as tetrahedral P4 molecules. And each phosphorus atom is covalently bonded to three other atoms of phosphorus. These molecules are held together by weak van der Waals force of attraction. Hence it has very low melting point of 44 degree Celsius. The bond angle in a P4 molecule is 60 degree which is much less than the expected bond angle. This angular strain in the molecule makes white phosphorus unstable and therefore they are highly reactive. Let's learn about red phosphorus now. When white phosphorus is heated to about 250 degrees Celsius in the presence of sunlight, red phosphorus is obtained. Red phosphorus is an iron grey luxurious crystalline solid. It is orderless, non-toxic and insoluble in water as well as in carbon tetrachloride. It does not dissolve in boiling caustic soda but dissolves in alcoholic potash. It exists as a polymeric solid. It is stable under normal condition and does not ignite in air. It undergoes combustion only when heated to about 4000 degree Celsius. Red phosphorus does not exhibit chemiluminescence. Now let's move to black phosphorus. It is the most stable allotrope of phosphorus. It is highly polymerized form of phosphorus. It has a layered structure. It exists in two forms namely alpha black phosphorus and beta black phosphorus. Now let's see how the beta black phosphorus and alpha black phosphorus is formed. When white phosphorus is heated to around 473 Kelvin, beta black phosphorus will be formed. Whereas when red phosphorus is heated to around 803 Kelvin, we get alpha black phosphorus. This beta black phosphorus consists of corrugated sheets that results in the formation of flaky layered crystals. Whereas the alpha black phosphorus is a opaque monoclinic or rhombohedral crystals. Beta black phosphorus conduct electricity whereas alpha black phosphorus does not conduct electricity. Students kindly practice these questions in your notebook.